iPad mini is by far my personal favorite tablet now as it's almost palm size. It's super portable and nimble and new this year. It's actually available in four different color choices to choose from. You have space gray, pink, purple, and starlight. It has all the latest specs like Wi-Fi 6, cool FaceTime center stage, which will actually allow this camera to actually follow you around, which is really awesome. And of course, it has USB-C. And so in today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about five amazing usage I've been able to benefit off the small compact iPad mini and why I use it a lot more than even my iPad Pro. Let's go ahead and get started. So for starters, is yes, it does support the latest generation Apple Pencil. And because of this, I'm able to sign documents, take quick notes on the go, super convenient. And it's one of the sole reasons why I like it because the latest generation Apple Pencil does actually have a lot of impressive specs in terms of pressure points. It does support the double tap feature, which allows you to quickly set this to do different shortcuts. And yes, my iPad mini is on the beta version of iPad OS 16, developer beta. So I'm also taking advantage of all the latest upcoming Apple innovations. But aside from that, my number two reason why I really like this thing is it does support sidecar. So if you work on your computer a lot like I do, a feature that I like using the most is sidecar. And when you dock it with a appropriate docking station, this docking station is from Taka. I'll have a link in the video description down below. But this basically makes it into the ultimate mirroring companion for your mobile devices on the go like my MacBook Pro. Give me that additional green real estate that I need to accomplish different unique tasks. And when I'm done, again, it's so small and compact, I could easily travel with this thing. So that's number three. The fact that this 8.5 inch display is the perfect size for any mobile setup. The display that it has, the picture quality and everything is gorgeous. It is using a liquid retina display, which features true tone capabilities. And if you're an artist, when you combo this with the Apple Pencil and you download the appropriate app, like Procreate as a fine example, that's extremely popular. You can really take advantage of all the different colors as this is a P3 screen. And then if you find yourself outdoors, the brightness can go up to 500 nits. But I'm personally not a real artist. I just doodle when I'm bored. But even while viewing things in landscape mode, it does have a true stereo speaker setup. So if you don't have any headphones, the listening quality experience is really good, which is great for watching movies or TV shows. Now, for number four, now the fourth amazing thing about the iPad mini is its battery life. Apple marked as this Apple product, this iPad mini to have all day battery. And from my experience, yeah, it really does make it throughout the entire day. But I'm just a medium user. I don't really use this iPad for every hour. I switch between my iPhone and this most of the time. But on average, I only charge this iPad like once every two days. So the battery life is extremely phenomenal, especially if you're coming from an iPad Pro. Now, even though my iPad Pro is the M1 equipped iPad, honestly, I don't even use all that power. When I'm editing videos, yes, I do primarily use a computer. So when I'm doing like heavy tasks, like rendering like this video, I use my MacBook Pro. I never once actually have to, had actually used an iPad only for demonstration purposes. So realistically for me, I don't need this much horsepower, but the A15 Bionic chip that this thing has is still is very capable. I'm pretty sure you are able to easily render like a 4K video on this device for a last resort. Now the render speed may be off by several or a couple minutes, but regardless, this iPad is fully capable in case of emergency. So if you're an editor or creating 3D images, I'm sure the iPad mini will be able to have enough horsepower to do those renders. It's just if, you, if time is money for you at that point, you may wanna consider an M1, but it's not necessary. Again, really good as a last resort. There is a seller version for the iPad mini, which does actually support 5G. So there's that option too. And the two storage capacity that's available is the 64 gig, it's the standard, and the 256 gigabytes. But don't forget, you do have that USB-C port, so you can actually plug in an external hard drive if needed. Aside from that, those are my five reasons why the iPad mini is actually a very capable device. I'm pretty sure students will definitely get a lot of use out of this device. It does have Touch ID, so it does have some modern security features. The Apple Pencil is extremely 
convenient because you can literally take notes on the fly. So for anybody who loves to travel a lot, has a mobile setup, the iPad mini, honestly, is the perfect size as it doesn't take up too much space. And energy wise, it's extremely efficient compared to other iPads available in the market. Aside from that, those are my five reasons why I like using the iPad mini a lot more than my other iPads. So you have a better understanding if an iPad mini is really truly the right device for you. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you got some good information out of this video. If you did, I'd greatly appreciate if you actually leave this video a like as this will help me out a lot and get subscribed, especially if you enjoy a lot of tech videos just like this. If you're curious what type of case I'm using on my iPad, this is also a Bataka case. It allows me to actually wirelessly charge will kind of wirelessly charge my iPad mini as it uses this unique adapter to wirelessly charge it. Only con to this case I have to highlight is you do lose that USB port right down here, which is unfortunate, but I rarely plug things in, into this iPad. So charging it this way makes sense for me. So I'll have that case in the video description down below. I just personally like the fact that the Apple Pencil just attaches in like so, and this little thing makes sure that it doesn't go off or fly off anywhere. Another reason why I like this case. Aside from that, thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to watch more, check out this video over here as I go through every hidden feature, new innovation that Apple added for the upcoming iOS 16 in the developer beta. And then that video over there, that is a video that YouTube is recommending specifically for you. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.